Got my spacer from Edelbrock today. Not a sponsor. <laughs> I pay the same price as you. Alright, so this is the 8710 one inch spacer. Comes with two gaskets, top and bottom. Comes with appropriate hardware. Um, let's get this on there and see if I can get my uh, gas line to, to line up properly now. That's pretty nice. Super, super smooth on the inside. I like that. All right, so let's get this other piece off of here. At this point, it's really important to be careful not to drop stuff in your engine. There's holes in here that actually go down in the engine, so be careful if you have the valve covers off also. Um, obviously, I'm going to be really careful around the carburetor. I already have a plug over the top of the... Uh, Distributor hole. All right, let's just pull him off of here. Nothing wrong with this current gasket, so I'm gonna go, go ahead and, well, they gave me a new one, and it's thicker. I guess I'll use this one. I'll have a spare then. And I would imagine, yeah, their studs are gonna be a little longer than mine. Pull these studs out that I have and they're not going to be in there very tight it's supposed to be finger tight but it is aluminum after all so they do like the stick sometimes come on baby there we go again don't drop this stuff down in the Intake, you'll be fishing the intake off again like I did once already, looking for that half inch socket that I still haven't found. Still have not found that half inch socket. All right, so this kit came with hardware, studs, that's why. All right, so gaskets don't have a top or a bottom, up or down. Gasket, 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 did my spring just fall off? Yeah, my spring just fell off, okay, carburetor, all right, now you can see that my fuel filter, where did I sit? My fuel filter assembly. Will fit on here nicely now. No problem. It'll, it'll come right out here. And get my line, go right down. Uh, that's gonna work really, really nice. Um, they do have all the hardware that they send with. So they have little washers. on here get this tightened down and we are in business these do not have to be that tight just enough to compress the gasket and the plastic just a little bit it should make a sufficient seal don't get crazy there we go just good to go now like I said before I still hadn't tightened this up um, I hadn't tightened up on the banjo fitting here. I hadn't tightened this yet. So we will get this filter on here, get him tightened, and get the rest of our line made. Uh, we'll, work on, we'll work on that today. And then uh, maybe start working on the front end of the car. But I definitely wanted to get the fuel line finished, so I felt like I was kind of done with the engine uh, finally. I can still make my hose yet for my PCV. I haven't done that. Um, I have. I bought the hose. It's here somewhere. I think I'm gonna work on some other stuff today. But this uh, one inch fill, this one inch spacer, was perfect for fitting this under here. Um, plenty of clearance now. Um, that should work really, really well. Been playing around a little bit with my original carburetor bracket. And actually, now that this thing is an inch higher, it's on a different manifold, um, this lines up.
pretty much perfect with this uh, with this post here, and I'll get the proper end for my cable. So I should be I should be all set now. Um, I'll get this. I'll touch up the paint on this a little bit, but uh, things are coming along. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go pick up some new holes for the PCV and for the brake booster. I have some holes, but it's a little older, and since I'm Doing a complete rebuild. Might as well have uh, new hoses on there. All right, just need to cut a piece of hose for this. All right, push her on there. Perfect. Not too long, not too short, just right. Got my throttle return spring. Let's see here. This is one of the original springs that was on the car. I don't know if it's the original, original spring or not, but that will do. Got a little more stretch to it than I think it probably should have. That should work. Painted it up all real nice. I actually painted it while it was um, stretched a little bit so that the paint got in between. Looks really nice, actually. All right. Um, let's find some other things we can work on. Probably not necessary to put on right now, but this goes on here. This is for the one of the hoses that goes back to the heater core. It's a support. Keeps it up off the exhaust. Helps it go around. So I might as well put him on there. I've been putting off finishing this line for a while. I'm finally getting around to it. I did the bottom one and I didn't really protect the fitting. So you can see it got some marks on it. So this one, since it's up on top, um, I'll put some cardboard in here, hopefully to hold it. For cutting this, all I did was I put some duct tape on here and cut it with good old hacksaw. The other end, I tried to clean up with a uh, with my grinder, grinding wheel. Did not work at all. I do not suggest that. So right now, I mean, you can see she's a little, looks like she's a little buggered up, but actually once you press it in there, it's just fine. So all I did was I used a flat, flat blade screwdriver. We'll try it on this one. I left the line a little long. So if I booger this up, I'm okay. And I'm probably trying to try to get the, try to get the worst part inside first. These ends are extremely sharp. I mean, we're talking extremely sharp, so watch yourself. And just tuck this stuff in here. This is the uh, uh, line with the rubber insert. It doesn't have the, the poly. I have to look up exactly what kind of line this was again. But I do know that this is the right fitting for it because I kept them separate. And just kind of work it around. Get it down in there and then kind of just threads down into the hole. Spin it down in there. And uh, yeah, this one's been a little difficult today. I just did that. I was really careful to kind of roll up. You're going to get poked. And there's really, I don't see how you can do this without wearing, with, I don't see how you can do it while wearing gloves because you kind of need the dexterity. So, I don't know. I played around with it earlier. This is what worked. She is just not working. I'm gonna cut it again. That's just not working like I wanted to. See what I'm doing? I'm gonna start over. The key part really is getting it tucked in here. And, uh, or if you do that,
See, I tuck in the part that is the seems to be the worst first. Again, trying to do this so my hand's not in the way so you can see what I'm doing, but I also don't want to ruin my line and have to go buy more. It is a rubber line on the inside, so a little flexible. Okay. Now what I do with the other one is I just kind of screwed it down in. Until I was confident it was in there. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's bottomed out in here. So I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, it is bottomed out in here and uh, she's ready to get put back together. Okay, so now that I have this here, this cardboard out here, so I don't damage it. What I need to do now is I need to run the other half of this into there. So the other half of this fitting goes into that rubber part and, and, uh, com and expands that. I say compresses it, but it actually expands it. Okay, so now get this in here. I'll get you refocused so you can see. All right, battery went dead, but we're good. So we're right here in the center of the picture. So this piece has a little taper and that goes in there. It goes into the rubber piece. I put some black marker on the, uh, on the line so that when I'm starting this in here, that I know if I'm pushing the line back or not because when you first get started it's entirely possible that you just push the line right out so I'm gonna be real careful I put a little bit of mark here so I can see if it's starting to slide back and my hand's gonna probably be in the way here but let me get it started and then I'll get a finish on here I'm not sure why that was so hard to get started straight but I guess uh, watch yourself all right after several tries I finally got it um, it did push back a little bit, but then it bit, and I'm not going to, not going to take it apart at this point, um, unless it actually leaks. So this is all just loosely together right now. I'm going to have to make a bracket for here to hold this so it doesn't vibrate and uh, rub a hole in the line. Um, but that is, that's it. I'm, I'm done on the top of the engine. Uh, valve covers will go on after I get it in the car. Um, I don't want to bang them up putting it in having the chains on here. Um, I am going to mock up the exhaust manifolds, um, but other than that, I'm pretty much done on the, on the top here. So um, appreciate you watching. Uh, this part of this video took me a couple months to get done. I just, I waited a long time for one of the fittings. Um, like, subscribe to the channel, uh, share with some friends if you have some comments or concerns or some suggestions on what I could have done to make this easier. Uh, it's appreciated. Thanks. Uh, have a great day and see you in the next video.